Hey Dylan, how are you? I'm good, how are you? So a uh, season here in three days, I mean, how exciting is that for you after all the hard work you put in all summer in camp to see that it's finally around the corner? What's going through your mind this week? Man, just super excited, you know, super grateful for this opportunity. Um, know we're going against a great team. Um, but most of all, you know, just being able to, you know, play against someone else and, and go, you know, put all this, you know, hard work into action is, is, is going to be really fun. Dylan, we haven't talked with you since before camp. Mm -hmm. how, is, how do you think camp went for you and where do you think you improved, whether, you know, from a l leadership standpoint mm -hmm. or a game standpoint or learning his schematic? I think camp was huge, you know, just, you know, finding, you know, like Coach said, the pieces of the puzzle. You know, once we put that together, I felt, you know, extremely confident. I felt really good about everyone. And, and I know we put in a lot of hard work, um, especially with this heat. But um, for the most part, you know, just personally, I, I feel really good. You know, my body feels good. My mind is good. And, you know, once, you know, I got all those in check, I'm, I'm good to go. So, As you've studied Boise, what stands out to you about their defense? You know, I think their secondary, you know, has, you know, a lot of returning starters, uh, you know, with 0 and 21, I think. They're long, tall guys, you know, extremely talented. And then, of course, you know, uh, a favorite of mine, you know, Kikala. I think uh, he's just the elite level defender, um, has a lot of experience with playing the game. And then most of all, being able to play against him, you know, in Hawaii, you know, I know the type of player he is. So, you know, I'm excited for that. And then, of course, you know, their linebackers coming back 44 and 7. I think they're extremely talented, you know, played a lot of football as well. And then up front, 99, 90, 55, you know, 30 as well. Um, to the boundary, I think they're, you know, extremely talented as well. So, you know, all together, I think they're, uh, you know, got a lot of experience. Uh, it's, it's built around Kekaula and, you know, for the most part, I'm excited to see what they do and, and can't wait to go out get out there. So, Dylan, how much of what you did this off season, you know, you think will help you make big strides going, going into this year, especially the, during the, the, the off season workouts and camp and stuff like that? Just push myself, you know, to another level, you know, with Coach Dawson, you know, physically, but also mentally, you know, those 6 a.m. runs, you know, getting up early, but just setting the tone, setting the mental mindset. And of course, you know, letting that fall through, you know, through summer and then, you know, into fall camp. So I think it all, you know, played a part and, you know, creating that foundation so that we can come out here and, and do what we do. Dylan, obviously you're the starter, we know that, but mm -hmm. there's a battle behind you for that number two spot, Quadra yep. Jones and Mike Keen seem to be those two guys that are, mm -hmm. you know, really going for that number two spot. Yep. What have you seen from those guys this camp? I think, um, you know, the most part, you know, with, with our QB room, I, it's, it's been a great energy. It's been a great competitive energy as well. They push me. You know, likewise, you know, I try to push them. And, and when you have a healthy, you know, camaraderie in, inside the QB room, it helps, you know, having more eyes on, on the defense or just different looks and be able to talk through things. Um, it's just it's, it's really helped me, and I know it's helped them. So, you know, uh, I'm really excited. I think, you know, those guys are, are great at competing and can't wait to see it. So. Dylan, you've accomplished so much at UCF, leading passer in the country last year. Mm -hmm. But what would it mean to win such a big game as, mm -hmm. as uh, Thursday night? Huge. You know, um, it, it is a big game. Um, but at the same time, treating every game the same. You know, don't make it too big. Don't make it too small. It's, it's a football game going out there, executing. Um, you know, that's the main thing. But, you know, more than accomplishing anything, you know, whenever your list of accomplishments, you know, are bigger than your list of impacts, you know, you're doing something wrong. So for me, I, I, my biggest you know, list I'm focused on is how I can impact, you know, others and have a positive impact in, in this uh, team. So, Dylan, you kind of mentioned that a little bit about the big game, but the emotions, you guys are going to be playing in front of a full packed stadium, it looks mm -hmm. like, uh, on Thursday. What does that mean to you guys? And, and how do you, as the, as the kind of the leader of, that, of the offense, maybe keep everyone kind of even keel as, as mm -hmm. you guys prepare to kick off that game? You know, it, it means the most to us. You know, we, you know, want to want to put out for Night Nation and know, you know, there's a lot of pride, you know, on our side and um, just just having that, you know, strength behind us and knowing we got people that got our backs. Is, it's a great feeling. But at the same time, we know, you know, we got to go out there and, and execute and, you know, find a way to win. And I, I think, you know, we just through this fall camp and grinding it out, I feel really good about what we got going on. So. Dylan, what's it been like game planning for Boise State? Obviously, they have a new coaching staff, but yeah. some players returning. How have you guys been game planning for them? I know Boise State has the same problem with a new staff with you guys, but how yeah. different has it been trying to get ready for the Broncos? I think in general with the first game, it's a little difficult, you know, not knowing exactly what, you know, having at least in-season film. But at the same time, it's, you know, it's a part of the game, you know, adjusting. It's, it's kind of just what you get with the first game. But, you know, uh, you know, when it comes to game planning them, it's just really, you know, personnel feeling out what they do, their body types, how they how they play. Um, little, uh, I guess, you know, techniques that you can kind of pick up on. But for the most part, 
you know, for me, it's personnel. And I think, you know, they got a lot of talented, experienced players. But like I said, you know, Kid Kyle, man, that's a that's an elite level defender. Um, great dude, and he, he knows how to play ball. So, Dylan, in well, do you think you you are and everyone is with uh, the entirely new system and everything after a full a few months of camp? You know, just going through you know it's spring, going into summer, you know, working through installs, having meetings, and then going into uh, fall camp. I feel really clear. Um, I feel like the team's got a good grasp of it, and and, and it's extremely comfortable with that. Um, and and like I said, we're we're all bought in. We're ready to go and. You know, the, the first test is, you know, uh, game one, September 2nd. So, you know, we're excited. Uh, I feel really good about the guys, too. So we'll see. Just And then one more. Um, your buddy, Mackenzie Milton, is mm -hmm. going to probably play, maybe start on mm -hmm. Sunday for Florida State. I wonder what your thoughts are with him and if you have a message for him. Yeah, Casey's my, my guy. You know, I talked to him yesterday. Um, you know, we talk often, and um, he's big bro. So, you know, I'm super excited for him. I know how he's worked, um, but most importantly, you know, I just love him as my big bro and, and know that you know, he'll be just fine. Would you talk a little bit about developing chemistry with the wide receivers and what mm -hmm. you're seeing from that group during yeah. camp? Um, for the most part with the receiver core, you know, I think there are a lot of talent you know, in, in that room. I think there's a lot of different skill sets, but for the most part, you know, locking in those skill sets and, and taking advantage of that. Um, I think you know, there's a lot of speed in that room. Uh, a lot of size as well, you know, comparative um, to last year. But for the most part, it's it's a lot of opportunity. Um, opportunity breeds a lot of you know big time plays. And for me, I, I'm just ex super excited to see that. You know, for them to go out there and do it, but for us to do it together. So you know, I'm gonna put the ball in the right place and, and try to put them in great positions. But for the most part, they're gonna go make those plays, and I can't wait to see it. Dylan, there's a lot of playmakers, obviously, from last year's team that moved on, graduated. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of new faces, obviously, look at the emerging camp. Who are some of the, the guys you're kind of excited to see play and, and what they do this season? For the most part, I'm excited to see everyone. I think we have so many new faces, you know, in the receiver room, of course, in the, in the running back room. But for the most part, whenever there are new faces in the skill you know, position uh, rooms, I think there's a lot of plays to be made, a lot of new names, you know, to be announced. So uh, for me, I think... You know, just overall being able to go go through that and see them make plays and see them go do that, it's, it's going to be a fun time. So, Omar? Yes. Yeah, I know you kind of talk about looking at every game the same and everything, but mm -hmm. do you have any maybe added perspective, you know, when you look at UCF and Boise the past few years, mm -hmm. kind of been you know, New Year's Six contenders. It's usually been the American champ or maybe yep. Boise. Do you get a sense for, you know, how important this game is just for setting the tone. I know you've got a whole season to play after the opener, yeah. but you know the winner of this game kind of has bragging rights to kind of say they're the team to watch for that spot. For sure, I think, you know, obviously, um, you know, I, I, I've been around college football and know a little bit, so obviously, know Boise State got a lot of respect for that program, you know, um, but also, you know, I, I watch other Hawaii boys, so seeing Kikala go out there and do his thing, you know, I've obviously known about them, so. Um, for the most part, it's just going out there and, and finding a way to win. You know, don't overcomplicate it, um, but don't also don't take it too lightly. You got a lot of respect for them and their team, um, and defensively, I know they'll they'll come ready to play. So, Dylan, did you uh, correct me wrong? Andy Avalos, the Boise State coach. Yes. Um, a little bit. You know, I knew a little bit of him. You know, stopping in school and stuff like that. But, um, you know, all those West School uh, schools were would stop in. You know, in Hawaii and and make their rounds. So. Did you ever consider Boise State? Anything? Um, I, I went to a camp, I believe, you know, in high school and uh, uh, made my rounds as well. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.